Hi everyone, welcome to The Restaurant Show, and we are actually gonna talk, not food, but drinks, with Taylor Tucker from Breakwater. And I tell you what, you have some of my favorite things on your vodka. <laughs> I'm a little scared of the brown liquor though, so I'm hoping that you're gonna teach me something about wanting to drink some bourbon here. I will. All right, so what are we starting with here, Taylor? We're gonna start with the <laughs> Moscow Mule. You see we have a copper mug that's out here in front. No, is this special? It is, the copper mug. Uh, if you didn't know copper, great conductor. So as you can see, it's already starting to sweat up a little uh, bit. Okay. Keeps the drink cold. That's cool. I'm gonna so when we get, when we get towards the end, you're still gonna have ice in there. It's still gonna be a great cold drink. And do you always get this? This is what it actually comes in? Yeah, and we oh, actually store cool. it up on our shelf. So when you come in there, you see that and you ask what it is, I want one of those. Gotcha, okay, so Moscow Mule. All right, right, let's do this. So we're gonna start with a Russian standard vodka. Okay, and um, any different, like is it made any different? Is it distilled more? It, it, is there something special about Russian vodka? It's the Russian standard. Uh, one of their recipes is the Moscow Mule, and as you can see, that even on the mug, they yeah. have their own Russian standard mug I that we've it. gotten from them. This is equivalent of I about like... three slices of lime. You're gonna squeeze in this fresh squeezed okay. lime juice. And you use, I know, um, in, now it's different, because usually I have Chef Gary on here showing me the tricks of the trade for food, but he uses fresh ingredients all the time too, so nothing less for your drinks. That's right. Also, okay, um, good deal. And then what goes in there is a ginger beer. Uh, it's a little bit Denver, different than a ginger ale. It does actually taste like a, a ginger root, a little bit more this spicy. so light and refreshing. It is great summer drink. Yeah. Uh, and what we'll do is just take But a, I feel like this is like so like, yes, like I should be wearing one of those hats. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. And then, <laughs> Just give it a little swish back, okay. back and forth. Well, that sounds and then good. It is a great refreshing drink. Yeah. Uh, it's almost close to a lemonade. Can and I then try that's, it? Absolutely. And that's as I easy do. as it is. Oh, that is, you can't even taste the vodka. Mm -mm. That's, that is, that's a good drink. It's a little drink. dangerous, though. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dangerous. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're on to bourbon. Now, yes. like I said, I do not, I, I'm a vodka drinker. I do not drink bourbon that often because I'm a little bit nervous about it because sure. it seems strong. But you're going to show us a way with the, is it the classic Manhattan? It is a right classic now? Manhattan recipe. All Correct. right, let's go for um, it. And what I do, it's, it's a little bit different than a. This is regular. Maker's Mark. Fantastic bourbon. This is yeah. uh, my bourbon of choice, yes. actually. <laughs> um, and what we'll do is. And what is this that you're adding to it? This is a sweet vermouth, and it's about a three to one ratio when pouring. Okay, sweet uh, vermouth versus dry vermouth, because I know correct. martinis use that That's also. Right. Okay. So uh, the, sweet the sweet vermouth, it's gonna be a little bit sweeter. This particular bourbon, the Maker's Manhattan, um, it, it is a little bit sweeter of right. the bourbon. Right, okay, okay. And then you're gonna give a couple dash of bitters. And now we're pouring, the, and I noticed on both of these, you poured, and you know, keep this in mind, you guys, when you're entertaining and you're making your drinks at home. You're pouring it onto the ice. Correct. Right? And is there, I know there's a reason. Is it because you don't want to bruise the liquor? Is that? Yeah, well, part of the bruising as well is you'll see that they actually will overshake uh, the martini. Gotcha. Like when you see uh, them like shaking right. like this. Yeah. That, a couple <laughs> reasons for that. Somebody wants it really cold. They want right. the little ice shavings on there that, right. that will actually bruise it as well. I do like that actually. Yeah. <laughs> what What's different here with this one is that I'm actually stirring this. It right. allows the ingredients to incorporate a little bit better. So gotcha. it's talking about you were scared, might be a little bit more bite to the bourbon. This yeah. actually really smooths oh. it out. It incorporates all the flavors. Because these are really coming back. I know it's an older drink. Yeah. You know, it's not your apple tea. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it is, is what they real... call a classic drink. Right. And it's recipes. really coming back into the bar scene. And you guys have a really great bar scene over right. there. And I'm, I believe that you've helped make that. You've been there since... 2000, uh, Let's not go three years now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2009. Like, uh... I had to think of it. <laughs> but obviously you have helped definitely create that bar scene there. Um, and then, so, happy hours here? Is that what? Yes, it, from 5 get... to 6.30 okay. we have happy hour. All right, we'll move on to that second. So I want to see how you actually serve and, this. And what I do is I'll actually sometimes, I'll let it sit for a second. And okay. again, the flavors meld. I'll go and make another drink while this is uh, working here. Right. And then I'll mix it. Take the strainer. We've even brought oh, some so champagne not be over coots. Ice. No, this won't. This can ah. be served up like a martini, but we've brought in these um, classic glasses, these right. old champagne coots, right. to serve our specialty drinks. Oh, that looks delicious. See, I think I wouldn't be scared to drink that then. And I'm not going to because I'm going to drink it right now. <laughs> and then it's garnished with the cherry. Of course, which I know that is part. Okay, so that so there isn't. It, it's not going to be over ice. This looks fantastic. I'm not scared to drink it. Or finish it. <laughs> We're just gonna. We'll be back in a few minutes. No. <laughs> all right. So all of these drinks. Um, obviously, you um, have been there for quite some time. But you know, I've, I've been told to ask, 
How did you get here to Beaufort? <laughs> I actually got to Beaufort via real estate. I got okay. into real estate. I had bounced around the southeast quite a bit. Uh, I'm a retired professional soccer player. Ah. So, go! Yeah. I would have brought my Bufa salad if I would have known that. Well, you can't do that. I was actually a goalkeeper, so okay. I didn't like that shout. So that's, like this? Yeah, I was trying okay. to block the goal. Uh, but with the, I played around with the soccer for just under 10 years, retired oh, wow. in 03, and I got into real estate. Real estate brought me to the area. Gotcha. And we all know what happened with real estate, so then of I course. got to bartending to supplement, and now bartending is full-time. Is it, absolutely, and you are very, very good at it. And so when can we come and see you, especially during the holiday season right now? Um, I'm sure you're getting very busy. Is that wine room available? It is. It is? Okay, so... But for, I think for the holiday season, though, you're not actually open on Christmas Day. I think right. it is Christmas and Christmas Day. But for sure, New Year's Eve plans mm -hmm. are definitely um, one that you want to start making with Breakwater. Um, call ahead? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's just get this straight. Can I get this, though, at Happy Hour? You can, absolutely. Fantastic. And the wine selection is there. What about... Um, about 80 bottles by the glass. Is it 80 bottles? Yeah. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. And if I'm coming in there with friends, um, do I want to call ahead for reservations? That's something that's suggested, especially yes. this time especially of year. Especially holiday time, especially yes. Especially this we time. We get busy there. And um, last but not least, gift certificates. <laughs> is that a definite... Um, you guys have them for sale. Yes. And um, you know, if you can't find something that is uh, quick and easy, this is going to be something that's quick and easy over there at Breakwater. Come see Taylor. Come check out his delicious drinks. And again, if you're not a big bourbon drinker, this is going to get you hooked for sure. So thank you so much for joining thank us. You. And are we going to do a cheers here? Yes. <laughs> All right. Cheers, you guys. Happy holidays. And um, we'll be glad to have you back soon. Thank, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. All right. We'll be back in a little bit.